Well, you may have noticed a lot of birds everywhere in West Texas. Texas is home to one of the most diverse populations of birds in the nation. News West 9 Sammy still spent the day with scientists at the Sibley Nature Center to find out why so many birds are flying around here. The saying goes, birds of a feather flock together. And there are plenty of birds flocking around the Permian Basin. I set out to find out just why there are so many birds in West Texas. Here in West Texas, uh, uh, birds have migration routes, uh, essentially migration highways. And uh, right here in Midland, Te Texas, this is part of the central flyway system. According to Nickel, the central fly system takes birds from Canada and Alaska, even as far as Siberia and Russia, down through the central part of the United States into Central and South America. It's a well-established migratory route that birds have established over eons, literally thousands and thousands of years, uh, taking them from, from nesting grounds to feeding grounds, you know, back and forth twice a year. Nichols says cliff swallows are the birds currently nesting under the highway bridges and buildings in West Texas. Cliff swallows are very, very adaptable to, to, to humans. Before humans uh, developed this area, cities and towns and bridges and things like that, uh, the cliff swallows nested on cliffs. Well, we've provided with, for them artificial canyons. These migratory birds are protected both at the state and federal level. If people are taking matters into their own hands, they run the risk of uh, a severe fine, perhaps even jail time. Whether or not you like birds, Nichols says they do humans a very big favor by eating mosquitoes and pests. Every creature out there is part of the ecosystem. Nothing, I mean nothing, lives in total isolation. We need things like cliff swallows to, you know, for a more healthy ecosystem. They, they do have a purpose, they do have a place, they do serve a function. It seems our flying friends are just something we're going to have to get used to here in the Permian Basin. Sammy Steele, News West 9. Tomorrow, Sammy will have more from the Sibley Nature Center on what the increase in trash and littering is having on West Texas wildlife.